Hey guys. hey guys, welcome back. It is Connor. I'm Mary Ashley. And we are here for the crumble of the week. We have got six flavors for this week. A lot of them are kind of more patriotic themed because obviously we are in July 4th week. So uh, very excited to try out this week's flavor. We have five cookies and actually one little cake here. I always love it when Crumble does the cakes. Um, I always love them. So very excited to share those with you guys. Uh, we will go ahead and give you guys some little up close pictures of the cookies for this week. And then we're going to try each out individually, give you guys our thoughts. And then at the end of the video, we will rank them from least favorite to favorite. But let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna give you guys some up close footage and go over what Crumble has to offer. Up here is s'mores. It looks so good with that drizzle and like the crumb topping mm -hmm. and a little amazing. marshmallow on the top. Yes. And then right next to it is birthday cake patriotic. I don't know why, but it looks so good with like <laughs> the sprinkle, even yeah. though I know it's just that plain um, vanilla. One, yeah, it's gonna be like that same vanilla sugar cookie with the cream cheese frosting that you guys know I love every time, but it just looks very patriotic for this week. Next up is milk chocolate chip. You know, it's the classic. Yes. We get it every <laughs> other week. Um, it's really good. <laughs> Yeah, comes back every other week, so you guys already know our thoughts, but we'll try it again. We love that one. <laughs> then it's cornbread, which I don't know how to feel yeah, about this one. I agree. I don't know. I feel like this could be good. It's got a big glob of like something that looks like butter. butter. It might be it's... buttercream, but I don't know. Yeah. It might be good. I'm I mean, you've excited. been kind of, yeah. Yeah, I used to hate cornbread, just like the actual food, but I kind of have enjoyed it lately with like soups and stuff so maybe i'll like this one yeah okay next up is apple pie mm. um it looks really good i like yeah. how they have like the little crust and then the do you filling. like apple pie i, I mean remember. not really yeah i don't really I'm like not, pie. like the biggest fan of pies but very patriotic and yeah. uh, our dad will people. like that one yes we'll save some for him <laughs> i love that one and then last up is the cake which is strawberry shortcake mm -hmm. which we used to have when we were younger a lot yeah, more. I love strawberry shortcake. And I feel like Crumble always does really good when they have their cakes. They had that one a couple weeks ago where it was that chocolate one. What was that yeah. called? The toffee one? That yeah, was amazing. I, think. I love their Tracy I mean, Chase. Chase. Yeah. So, this one does not come in a mini, by the way. Um, and I also don't think the apple pie did either. I think the other four did, but that's why we just got the full size this week. But um, yeah, that is what Crumble has to offer. We're going to go ahead and cut these up, try into them, and give you guys our thoughts. The first cookie is the milk chocolate chip. Like we said, this one comes back every other week. So we've shared our thoughts before, but we are always happy to try this one because it is delicious. This is the classic, you can't go wrong, thick, soft, and packed with milk chocolate chips. Here we go. Cheers. I always thought there this was one. a little bit of the raspberry or whatever the strawberry. Yeah, a little bit of that jam from the strawberry one got on this one, but it's still so good. Mm -hmm. This is your kind of like more basic milk chocolate chip cookie, but if you like those classic cookie flavors, you're gonna love this one. Now, we I do both know. agree. No, we do both agree that um the one that they'll have next week is a little bit better, the dark chocolate semi-sweet one, because we both like dark hot chocolate, and I like the saltiness on that one. But this one is still amazing, and if you like a little bit more sweeter, milkier uh, chocolate chip cookie, I think you'll love this one. It's so good. I rated it an 8 out of 10. I don't think you said that, but we always do. I, <laughs> I just got a bunch of chocolate chips in that bite, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like a bunch. I think we've talked about this before. I think we've said it about the semi sweet one, but maybe not about this one because we never got the big one of this one. But when they're bigger, we think they add more chocolate chips. Yeah. Because it's always like a lot better as yeah. the bigger one. <laughs> it is always a little bit better, I feel like, when you get the bigger one. But this is delicious. I'm giving it a solid eight. I think I give it that every time. We both do. But yeah. great cookie. Let's try out the other ones. Next up is strawberry shortcake, a double stacked vanilla shortcake layered with fresh whipped cream and house-made strawberry jam. Okay, so excited. Here we go, we're just, we got our forks. We're not even cutting it. I wanna make sure I get a little bit of that jam, so I'm yeah. gonna like sc scoop some. All right, here we go. Cheers. Mmm, that is really good. 
a lot of whipped cream. That's it. The, all, the cakes all whips have so much icing yeah. that I have to like kind of scrape it off so I can taste it. And it's kind of funny for the icing. They just literally use whipped cream. I don't think they actually use like an icing. Well, that's what you do for strawberry shortcake. That's true. You do for strawberry shortcake. This is so good, you guys. If you like strawberry shortcake, check this out. It is a really like fluffy cake, I feel like. It doesn't really taste as like... What do you say it is? Like soggy? I don't feel like it yeah. tastes soggy this time. It, yeah, it tastes more like airy, I would say, like an actual cake. Mm -hmm. But then you obviously get like the whipped cream and then also the strawberry. Mm. The strawberry jam so kind of tastes like um, the strawberries from Costco. and. Oh, yeah. And it, to me, it tastes like they literally just took like a strawberry jam that you would put on like it says bread. house-made strawberry jam. Yeah. It's really good. This is so delicious and it's super summery. I feel like strawberry shortcake is always a really good summertime uh, like cake or dessert to make because of the strawberry, but yeah, this is delish. Okay, I'm gonna give mine a solid, I'm gonna give it a nine. I love it. It's kind of basic, but it's still good. I'm gonna give it like an eight because I don't really know. I keep eating it. I don't really like the, I don't really love whipped cream. So whenever we have the cakes, yeah. it's always a bunch of whipped cream. So I have to like dig it all. Yeah, you're not the biggest whipped cream fan. Like, I still like don't it. know how much you actually like the cakes that much. I think I like cake. I don't know if you do. I mean, I like cake. You do? Okay. Well. I don't even honestly, I don't even really like cookies other than yeah. like crumble. That's like, true. Whenever I make cookies, she never wants them. She always wants the cookie dough. Which I get. But the only reason I like, because like I wouldn't ever pick a cookie. I mean, I like crumble because it's more like a um, gourmet cookie, I guess you would say. Because <laughs> like it's not just a basic like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. normally more like, like. It's more interesting flavor. Also like their like milk the chocolate chip is like um, doughier too. Yeah. So it's not like hard like yours. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, so yeah, that is our thoughts on the strawberry shortcake one. Let's put the cake away and try out our other flavors. Next up, we have another one of the patriotic ones. This one is called Birthday Cake Patriotic. It's a cake batter cookie topped with smooth cake batter, frosting, and red, white sprinkles. It's red, white, and blue sprinkles, sorry. Can't forget about the blue. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Again, it looks like that uh, sugar cookie with the cream cheese frosting. Let's see if it is. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so good. If you guys remember the um, the Nella Bean Cupcake one from, that was either last week or two weeks ago, I think. I think it was two weeks ago. Um, that one tastes just like this to me. It's just like a sugar cookie with a vanilla cream cheese frosting. It's so good and I love vanilla always. So this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites. It kind of has like a, like, I don't know what flavor it kind of, it kind of has a little bit of well, like a hint of something. It's like birthday cake flavor. So I guess it tastes like kind of like cakey. Like if oh, you've I ever had know. like birthday cake ice cream, that's what this is, but a cookie. That's the flavoring. So yeah, do you have any thoughts? I don't know. Really. I mean, it was good. Also, I like like the decorations. Mm -hmm. Like I liked how it was plain white in the background and then the sprinkles. Yeah, very festive looking. Uh, I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give it a nine again. I feel like these are all gonna be really good. So my rankings may not make sense because of my like number that I give them. But I'm gonna give it a nine. This is so good. I I'll give it. it like an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. One that I'm excited to try is s'mores. A graham cracker cookie packed with milk chocolate chips then topped with a melty marshmallow chocolate drizzle and a buttery graham cracker crumb. All right, the marshmallow's a little bit hard, so I don't know if it's gonna split evenly. Kind of does. Like... All right, here, pull a little bit off if you have to. Oh, it feels toasted. <laughs> it's it toast... melty. Oh, it's very stretchy. Yeah, I guess okay. I'll take this one. All right, guys, here we go. Cheers. I don't always love, I like graham crackers, but I don't always love them when they're like used as a pie crust or something like that. So it's graham cracker. I know. That's why I'm like a little bit uh, nervous, but we'll see. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I need to try it without the marshmallow though. That does taste a lot like a s'more. One thing about crumble. They always are super authentic to so they want it to be. So this definitely tastes just like a s'more. 
you get like that chocolatiness, the graham cracker from the cookie, and then the marshmallow. Plus the melted chocolate from mm -hmm. the inside from the chocolate chips. I do feel like the flavoring is really similar to the milk chocolate chip. Don't you agree? Like they probably use the same cookie. They just use more of like a graham cracker base. And then they probably just add like the same milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's good though. I love this one. I'm going to give it a seven and a half because I don't think it's quite as unique as the other ones are, I guess. But I do like this one a lot. Great for summertime. Um, yeah, I'll give it like an eight. I've given a lot of them like an eight. Yeah. But it's just, I don't know. I like them all. Yeah. So that is the s'mores one. Okay, next up, we have cornbread. This one is a warm cornbread cookie smothered with honey butter glaze and then topped with a dollop of thick honey buttercream frosting and a drizzle of honey. Lots of honey on this cornbread. Um, and it says it's got that big butter glaze. So let's see. Cheers. We're very interested in this one um, as a cookie. Cornbread is a cookie. Interesting. I think it could be good. Mmm. Ew. I don't like it. Again, I can't taste it because of the, the, the butter. Try without the butter. You know what it's it is for grainy. me? It, it, that's what I was about to say. I don't even think it's the flavor for me as much as it is like the texture. Like, you know how cornbread has like, if you use like the Jiffy Mix, it's like kind of like grainy. That's what it tastes like in here. The flavor itself isn't bad. It just tastes like a vanilla cookie. But it's the... No, it's a little corny. <laughs> I guess if you like that corn flavor, you may like this one. But a lot of people love cornbread. Like, it's even just not like, as sweet, too. Like, cornbread is supposed to be, like, a sweeter bread. Like, people would eat it as dessert, probably. So, I think if you like that, you'll like that. <laughs> I don't like it, though, personally. It's not it's sweet. It's grainy, and I don't... The flavor is, like, okay, but it's, like... It does have, like, that corn taste to it. Like, a sweet, like... like I think I could eat this with chili. <laughs> Get a bowl of soup and then eat I this. mean, the only thing that makes it really sweet is the frosting. Yeah, I like That's the frosting. That's why I can't really taste I it at the frosting. But for some reason, it is, like, mm. grainy. Or, like, it kind of is like it has, like, little chunks of something in there. Yeah, no. I don't love this one. I'm going to give it... Um, I'll There's give it a five, one which sweet. is probably the lowest that I've ranked one. I just don't love this one, to be honest. I think it's the consistency. I don't love it. I give it a five. Yeah, I don't like the consistency either. What do you I'll give, give it, it like a four. A four. That might be the ro the lowest that we've ever ranked one. Because there was that one last week that I didn't like. What I was it I think in the called? beginning I rated something like a two. Oh really? That's awful. But I normally rate them around an eight because like I feel bad or something. If I, yeah. You know. And we're not or saying not different. to get this cookie because you may love it. Everybody has different tastes and flavors. Um, but for us, it's we're not a fan. So. Yeah. You can literally like see like. Well, yeah, because it's probably they probably use a little bit of corn mix. I'm guessing to get that flavor. Yeah, like, I don't know. You can probably look it up. See it, but like, yeah, there's little like grains of like. Something. Also, where's the honey? They could have used. It talked all about honey. I didn't really taste it. You can actually see the honey, I guess. Well, but... um, have you seen on TikTok where it says they use like, like cake mix for some? Well, yeah, I'm sure they do. For, but like, what if instead they did? Corn they probably bread. did to get. What that if it's flavor. actually cornbread? I'm guessing that they probably use some of that cornbread mix. So yeah. All right. So let's put this one away and try out. There's one more, right? Yeah, apple pie. Let's try apple pie. Last up is apple pie, a buttery pie cookie topped with warm apple <laughs> All of pie the... filling, and then finished with sprinkle of cookie crumb. Sorry, all the apple crumbs were falling. Yeah. <laughs> this looks really good. Um, I thought you dropped another cookie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I dropped a cookie a couple weeks ago. Go back and watch that video if you missed it. But see, one of the reasons I don't like apple pie is because of the um, oh my god I filling. Love this. Like I don't like the texture. I'm a very texture mm -hmm. person. Like I don't like it. Okay. So cheers. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it because I love apple pie. It tastes just mm -hmm. like apple pie. It tastes just like apple pie. <laughs> you probably don't like it, but I love it. It's like, that's like sweet apple. You do get a little bit of cinnamon that's like mixed in with the apple. Um, but it tastes like a cookie. Not as much like a pie. It is very crumbly though, the cookie. But yeah. I do really like this. It looks this. like a pie. This is delicious. And our dad will love this one because he always loves apple pie, uh, like flavored stuff. But yeah, this is delish. 
Bella, are you coming up? Just thinking about it. Um, I'm gonna give this one a solid, I'm gonna give it an eight. I really like this one and it's very perfect for July 4th. Bring this to your July 4th party. I'm gonna give it like, <clears throat> you're not a huge fan. Like a six, cause like it's not like I guess the it's not worst. Awful. Like I like it better than cornbread. But it's not gonna be like yeah. in your top three. Yeah. All right, so that is our thoughts on apple pie. We're gonna put these cookies away, clean up a little, and then we're gonna do our ranking of least favorite to favorite. All right, we are back for the ranking from least favorite to favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and start off, and we're actually gonna do this one together because we both share the same sixth place. Cornbread. cornbread this was not our favorite i think it was just like a mixture of that texture like the graininess that you get in cornbread which makes sense that's what the cookie is but it just wasn't our favorite and then i think that flavor also just kind of weirded me out but if that was like something served at like a meal i think i would love it with like soup yeah. i mean so. after the video him and my mom liked it a little bit more like our yeah. mom really our mom loved it. it so we'll let her so I, did, I think it just depends on your flavor i just didn't like it because the texture. I mean, the flavor was not like the best, but yeah. the texture was really. It bad. also could be because we tried like all the uh, very like sweet ones, yeah. like the chocolate ones before. Maybe if we tried that one first, we might have liked it a little bit better. But yeah. anyways, that's our that's our sixth place. My fifth place is uh, milk chocolate chip. I love that one, but I do think just like the other four above it were a little bit more unique and different and since it comes back every other week i normally rank it kind of low but um i still love it it's a great classic cookie mine is <clears throat> apple pie <laughs> um not the biggest i'm not the biggest fan. pie fan so i didn't really like it i mean yeah. and i don't like the texture and you don't love like apple-y stuff unless it's just like a real apple so you're not like a big like apple dessert fan. Yeah. I put apple pie in fourth place. I really love this one. I do like it, but I feel like the other three above it were just a little bit better, but I love that cookie and it does really taste like an apple pie, so. I put strawberry shortcake because, I mean, it wasn't like my favorite, but it wasn't like the worst, so that's basically why. Interesting. I You'll see where I put that. And I didn't really like like the whipped cream. I didn't like yeah. that. You don't I feel always like they always the add so much on the cakes too. Yeah. That like I have to like scrape it off and yeah. stuff. So. <laughs> they do. Okay, third place for me was s'mores. I love this one, but I do feel like it was just super similar for the flavor to the chocolate chip one. I would have probably ranked it a little bit higher though. But I love that one. It was so good. It was like a milk chocolate chip and then the marshmallow was delicious. Next up I did milk chocolate chip just because it wasn't very um Normally, I put it like at the last place, but this week there was a couple of <laughs> ones that you didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's why I put it there. And I was also like, like we said, they're always so much better as the big cookies. Yeah, just because like true. they add more or something. More I don't really know what it is about it. But like <clears> the chocolate chip ones, as the little ones, they normally don't have as much, so it's not as like gooey. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, second place for me was the patriotic birthday cake. You guys know I love it. If it's going to have like a vanilla cookie and cream cheese frosting, I'm going to love it. And that's what that one was. That was so delicious. So second place for me. I put that as second place too. I don't know. I really liked it this week compared to... What you normally would put it? Yeah. Like a, I mean, but it tasted a little bit different than the normal vanilla ones. Yeah, it was probably a little bit different, but... But yeah, I guess I it has more like, like a cake batter because it was a cake batter cookie. I also just liked like the decorations. Yeah, I guess. very festive. And then oh yeah, if you're having a uh, Fourth of July party or you're having like a gathering, you should definitely get a crumble box. You can get, get a cake. Yeah, that's true. Or you can get. I'm pretty sure you can get like a twelve or like mm -hmm. twenty-four pack of the minis. Yeah, like if you just want to have a little bite of each one at your yeah. little block party. party. <laughs> block party, yeah. <laughs> All right, first place for me, no surprise here, was the strawberry shortcake. I loved this one. I always love whenever Crumble does the cakes, and so this done, this one definitely deserves first place for me. I loved it. I put s'mores as my number one, because I think it was also just because it was the most chocolatey one, so I liked it. And also, I really liked the um, marshmallows, because it was a little bit gooey and a little bit crunchy. Yes. And then um, I also liked, um, <clears throat> I liked kind of how it was like similar to the milk chocolate chip, but it did also have a little bit of graham cracker flavoring yeah. and then it tasted like a s'more and I like s'mores. So, yeah. yeah. If you can't tell, she loves like the chocolatey ones. Yeah. I love the vanilla ones or the cakes. That's my thing. So 
But yeah, guys, that is it for this week. Uh, let us know in the comments if you were to try one of these, which one would you be most interested in? We would love to hear it. And if you're actually going to try them, let us know your thoughts. Come back to the comments and let us know what you think. But uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and we hope you guys all have a great 4th of July and a safe week. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.